Safe Dirty Dining, it is time for an intervention. Contact 13 Chief Investigator Darcy Spears visits a five-time repeat offender, plus a two-time repeat offender food truck and a roach-infested sushi bar. Leah, we're back again. Kapit Bahai Filipino fast food was just on Dirty Dining in May. It's only been two months and you guys got another C grade again. The five-time repeat offender in Chinatown Plaza on Spring Mountain got a 39 demerit C grade on its July 6th inspection and the C is still there. We want to get your side of the story and find out why you guys keep getting downgraded and they said you have a history of non-compliance, which we know about. The person in China ducks behind a pole to avoid the camera. She's the one health inspectors have repeatedly written up for improper hand washing. Most recently, she drank from a cup, then touched her own face, then handled customer food without washing her hands. Inspectors also found pork belly, chicken stew, garbanzo beans, and raw chicken that had to be thrown out due to unsafe temperatures. Rice was stored under a dirty drain board. Dishes and a cutting board were not properly sanitized. Bulk food bins were cracked and dirty, and there was excessive carbon residue on walks. This large roast thawing at room temperature had to be tossed out, and there was spoiled coconut milk rice cake sitting on bags of rice. The owner is coming at 4 o'clock. Would you like to give him a call and see if we can set an appointment to talk with him? I don't know what is the number, Mom. Sorry. You don't know how to reach the owner of your own restaurant? She points to the number on the business card, which rings right back to her at the restaurant. But eventually we did reach the owner on the phone. She wouldn't go on camera, but said Kapit Bahai was being run by her parents until she took over just a few weeks ago. She knows they're on probation with the health district, but says they're renovating, hiring new staff and have already done intervention training. Our first of two closures is at another place inspectors say has a pattern of non-compliance, including operating during an imminent health hazard. Makino Sushi Bar on Decatur near Flamingo was shut down July 6th for a multi-generational German cockroach infestation. Roaches dead and alive were visible throughout the kitchen, and there was a lot of food debris under equipment. They had an intervention training too, and were back to a three demerit A on July 9th. And Antojitos Guayabitos food truck, another dirty dining repeat offender, was shut down July 6th for inadequate refrigeration. There was also no hot water and a wastewater tank leaking onto the ground. Antojitos Guayabitos was back to a zero demerit A on July 11th. We were unable to reach anyone there or at Makino for comment. Darcy Spears, 13 Action News.